The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to uh, what well, today is October the 17th. This would be the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes. I want to thank you all for being here. And hey, this next 60 minutes, it's all about you. So give us a call at 877-927-6648. We'd love to take a look at whatever instrument it is, whatever time frame it is that you've got uh, interest in, maybe part of your portfolio you're looking to get into your portfolio. Uh, if you can't give us a call, you can always send me an email, Steve at tfnn.com inside the subject heading if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question of course in our tiger's den any and all pings will do so let's go ahead and get this show started on terrific thursday of course this is tiger financial news network again i'm steve rhodes welcome to the show right now all the indices with the exception of the spot ball i'm sorry with the exception of the socks are in the green albeit slightly although the russell 2000 having a strong showing as well as the transports are both up uh, eight to nine tenths of a percent uh, to the upside spot volatility index is actually ticking a bit higher it's up 20 cents as we speak, gold's up four, silver's up uh, a little over 1%, 19 cents. She's trading out at 17.62. Light sweet crude back 15 cents, no big deal there. Uh, natural gas, uh, pretty much flat. Same as uh, Treasury bonds are up eight ticks out there. Leading the charge to the upside, it's a, a ticker symbol FDUSG, FITUS Investment Corp. Boston Beer is up $19. That one was up 24. Maybe it's a uh, IPO. Yeah, it looks like it might be. It's up 2,400%. It's a good day. There's no doubt about that. Uh, you've got Pool Corporation up 9%. About $19. Amazon, 14 to the upside. To the downside, you've got Provident uh, Bank Corp off 11 bucks. Whoa, 51%. That's a haircut. IBM is off 9. M&T Bank down 7. Beyond Meat which is beyond me, uh, is off uh, $5.50 out there. You won't get Stevie, son. Hey, I like my fruits and vegetables. But that means I like my fruits and vegetables. And I like my hamburgers. Uh, I don't want to mix them. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Look, let's go to our first question out here. This one coming in from Andrew K. Andrew writes in. He says, hey, Steve. Hey, Andrew. I I'd like you to take a look at Facebook. I'm considering a long position with a close above 190.90, target around 205. So what are the charts communicating to us? So let's go take a look at uh, Facebook here. Uh, Andy, are the uh, three different, uh, Andrew, I apologize, uh, and let's be more correct and formal out here. If we take a look at the daily, the weekly, and the monthly set of profiles, prices above the daily resistance, which perhaps may be support, 182.06. Uh, prices trading within its weekly set of profiles. So support there would be 184.75. This is a bullish structured profile, which would say you were looking for a close above 190. In this case here, this would say, hey, a close above 194.31, not 194.32, but you know, call it 195 and above, which suggests a move to the 208 area. You're looking for a move to 205. So this has got 208. But the monthly chart, its profile shows resistance at about 200. We're trading at 189.56. Okay, so there's our profiles, weekly and monthly prices trading in between the support and resistance areas. If we take a look at, Stan, you're looking for an entry point. So if we take a look at uh, Facebook, we take a look at the daily time frame. What you would have liked to have done is to have inquired uh, about Facebook on October 3rd. The reason is, if we take a look at the daily chart for Facebook, both its high, and when I refer to the high, I'm referring back to the July 25th high, and then the low, the low being the October 2nd low, were both formed with Rhodes Momentum indicator signals. This is the way that markets like to. They don't always. It's just when you do see these patterns present, this is how markets signal to you and I that it's forming bottoms. So your actual entry into Facebook was October 3rd, October 4th, October 5th, 7th, October 8th, and it's not going to be on October 17th. 
And I can't see trading, waiting for this to get to 190.90 out here, your 189.53, but you've got to make the reward risk scenario. It does appear that using just Stevie's white background charts with this sets of with these tools out here, that what price is gunning for is 202.88. You can see though, in the area that price book is trading right now, and I'll use the high, just kind of check on the high of September 20th. That level is 193.10. And you wanted to close above 190.90. See, that's a Three River Evening Star pattern out there. So we know where sellers are present because in the same area, two different times, you had a nice little dark cloud cover on September 12th, a nice little bear sash on September 6th. So Facebook, really, in order to give you the signal, the coast is clear to make the rise to 202.88, irrespective of what we looked at on the weekly and the monthly set of profiles, you've got a clear resistance, which is going to be the high from September 20th. So the better pattern, the better entry would have been down there in that uh, early part of October versus uh, now on October the uh, 17th. And if we look at the weekly time frame chart, it would say even if you did go long back on the third or the fourth, uh, price is now running into its resistance level, its potential of a counter trend resistance level. That is Stevie's green line. Price is trading at it right now. So obviously, if you can close above this on a weekly basis, uh, and then as well as the uh, Three River Evening Star resistance level, that would suggest the move higher. Now, in this case, on the weekly, if in fact all that comes to fruition, it could give you a price target of 218.62. But when we look at the weekly chart, Andrew, uh, price is up at resistance. The daily showed us resistance over on the left-hand side of it in this price range. And if we look at the monthly chart, we can also see that price is up at resistance. Stevie's green the line. So... Um, uh, my, my preference for you, you've, you've got to make the decision out here. I've given you all the numbers, so you can do the risk-reward out there. Uh, but right now, you've, you're at resistance, so you just keep those hands in your pocket out there. And, and I'd rather you, if you take a look at Facebook when it made its high out here, this is back in July on a monthly time frame, does it with the roads momentum indicator pattern out there. I'd rather teach that to you, teach you what to be looking for, so when you can see it, you can go ahead and fire away. Uh, uh, maybe you are a subscriber, I don't know, so we've got the... the uh, archived uh, videos to assist you with that. If you're not a subscriber, just consider doing that for at least the next 30 days because you can cancel it and then you'll get the education uh, that uh, will assist you in, in being able to identify uh, those trades and, and where it is that you could enter uh, Facebook out there. So, Andrew, thanks for writing in. Uh, I don't recall getting a question from you before. If I did, uh, my apology, but uh, thanks for taking the time to uh, write. And, folks, I want to hear from you as well. Uh, we've got uh, Phil. Phil writes in, and he wants to go get a burger, as a matter of fact. Now, I haven't been to this place out here. I don't know if they sell those impossible burgers or whatever they call, uh, but if we take a look at Shake Shack, and the ticker symbol, S-H-A-K. Now, maybe it isn't a burger that Phil wants. Maybe he just wants a good old shake. I've got to assume they sell shakes out there. Now, when I was a young kid, well, so I took a hockey puck. I was playing. I was a fairly good hockey player as a young kid. was playing with the older guys, five, six years older than I was. Uh, didn't have uh, face masks at those time. And I, my mouth, uh, stopped a goal from going in. I was in front of the goalie and uh, simply took the puck into the mouth. Lost the first, the front, lost my teeth, front teeth, lost a bone up in my nose area, and then eventually had to have 12 teeth pulled from my mouth. I lived on shakes for a long time. I hate shakes. I hate shakes. But we come back from this. It doesn't matter whether I like shakes or not. We're going to go take a look at Shake Shack. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, so let's go to take a look at the Shake Shack out here. Uh, Phil writes and just bought Shake as a TD9 setup. Where would you place your target um, market profiles and so on and so forth? So, Phil, if we take a look at market profiles, let's just begin there daily, weekly, and uh, monthly. Here's what we know about Shake Shack. A uh, price today is trying to get inside of its daily profile. So, you'd really love to see a close above 92.29. That is the bottom of the box. The reason is because if, if Shake Shack does not close above that, it's just a clear level of resistance, old support that now is resistance. So, 92.29 is your key level to be watching today. It just so happens on the weekly time frame, the bottom of its box is 92.47. So certainly if you saw a close below 92.47, from a profile perspective, that would not be good news. On a monthly basis, the profiles really don't come into play for you and I. If we look at the daily time frame chart, and today could be could be day nine of a TD setup nine count, but as we speak right now, it's not. And here's the reason why, Phil. Uh, first of all, in order, so today is day nine. Yesterday was bar number eight, or bar number, I shouldn't get what well, day, because we're looking at a daily chart, but bar number nine. And in order for bar number nine to actually form, therefore give you the TD setup nine count, today's close must be below the close of bar number five, the bar four bars earlier. So kind of easy math out there. And if you take a look at bar number five, price is trading above it right now. And the close of that was 91.62. Therein lies your problem, one of your problems, because if you get a close below 91.62, you're going to be both below the daily and the weekly set of profiles. Doesn't mean that this might not bottom, but this is not a valid, what I'll call a valid, it's a how do, I, how do I say this? This is a, well, it, right now it's not a valid TD9 count because it's not going to form based on where price is trading today. So we gave you that number where price must close below. But even if it did, let's assume that price did close uh, below the, the close of bar number five. Bar number six, Phil, is the uh, candle that has lowest low of this pattern out there. And for Stevie, right now, at this stage of the game, until I get all my software ducks in a row, so to speak, it wouldn't be a tradable nine-count pattern 
uh, for me out there. So that's the daily. That's what I see out there. You were asking where would be the target. So targets, you've got the profiles. We didn't talk about those. So on a daily basis, the target would be 98.66 or 101.21 uh, to the upside. And if price close above the bottom of the box, that still may be in play out here. In order for that to happen, you're going to need to see a close above Stevie's green line eventually. That's 94 bucks, even Steven. So that's what I see when I take a look at the daily time frame chart for Shake Shack out there. And then 103.76 is where we have a TD setup breakdown, the most recent one. But there could be a new one. Um, depending on where the close is today, because the new one would be the high of bar number at this stage here, bar number one, which would be 94.57. So that's the daily charts for Shake Shack. A quick peek at the weekly for you to see out here. If there's anything, there's nothing on the weekly. Price below Stevie's uh, green line out there. Let's just do a wave count, see if this thing got to wave number seven. Oh, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Where did I'll be a monkey's uncle came from? Or am I just imagining that? So here we go. We just took a look at the uh, wave counts by starting from the low out here from December 28th. And Phil, this made wave number seven on the week of September the 6th. It have had a couple of bearish reversal candles priced below Stevie's green line. If we were just looking at this chart, uh, this would suggest to you and I that Shake Shack is gunning for 58.15. So this would say be careful out there. Now, because we saw that, we've got to go look at the monthly chart, see what its signals are. As we look at the monthly chart, well, the month, this, this appears to be a TD setup, eight count, nine count top on a monthly time frame chart. Now, the last time that Shake Shack made a monthly TD setup nine count, it was right here. The uh, month was uh, June of uh, 2018. And of course, price then moved lower for the next about half of a year out there, uh, six months. So this is not a good thing because right now it looks like the close on a monthly basis is going to be well above the close of bar number five. So you're going to get another TD set. You're going to get a TD set up nine count on a monthly basis. So I just simply offer caution to you based upon the patterns uh, that we just looked at on the uh, charts out there. But best of luck with that uh, trade out there. Uh, let's see. Do we have any other requests? We do. LB writes in and thanks. And some folks wrote in uh, yesterday um, and it was late in the show. So I just urge you to please get your request in early. Preferably not at seven or eight or nine in the morning. Makes it a little bit, you know, you know, before the show. Just before the show would be great out there. And then I promise to get uh, to your to your request. So GBTC again. We were talking about this. Uh, Lee had written in, I think yesterday, or the day before, what have you about uh, this is Bitcoin Trust out here, GBTC, and uh, and he indicated it looked like it could be bottoming. So the problem I think is, let me just see if I've got any way to pull up. The, uh, to pull up Bitcoin on my other charts that would at least assist us with what it's doing. That didn't work really well. So that's not going to work. Um, at one point, and the other thing I've got to pull up on my own. So bummer there. Um, it's trying to do that. Darn it. GBTC, GBTC. The, uh, so I'm just going to go back to the, going to go back to the ETF itself. So we're just going to trade based upon the ETF. Now, what you'd like to see here, so today, so far, uh, Lee, is today is an inside bar, inside candle. See, today, the body of today's candle is trading with inside the body of yesterday's candle. And yesterday was a gap to the downside. Now, I recognize that price in these gaps here is just catching up to what's going on in Bitcoin overnight, or I assume that that's what it's doing out here. And uh, so you've got resistance at the uh, low of October 16th of 9.26. Six. And you don't have a bullish reversal candle. You do have price moving lower, doing less relative energy, uh, but you do not have a bullish reversal candle. It doesn't mean that yesterday wasn't the low. It just doesn't fit the criteria that I use. Uh, for the pattern that I created here with regard to that Rhodes Momentum indicator. Uh, and that's what we really want is, you know, I've gone back and done enough studies to to uh, prove to myself, and I hopefully over time I have proved to you too, markets are going to, I don't care what pattern it is that you and I trade, it doesn't matter what pattern it is. If price is moving higher, it's going to continue moving higher until, at a minimum, you see some type of bearish reversal candle. Likewise, as price is moving lower, no matter what pattern is in place, it's going to continue moving lower until the cavalry says, I'm willing to take a stand. Now, they may get steamrolled, 
but at least you know that uh, you've got a spot where buyers have taken a stand. We don't have the we don't have that signal here in GBTC for its daily uh, time frame out here. If I look at the weekly time frame, weekly time frame says uh, to, uh, this is going to be bar number eight of uh, on a weekly basis of TD setup nine count, but it also says you know price could pull back to 448. So weekly says hey maybe you're getting close the low of bar eight or nine or the bar following nine can be the low of that pattern. So we don't you, you need uh, you need next week's candle before we can even make that determination. And on a monthly uh, time frame out here, nothing for us to really pay attention to. Now, in the futures marketplace, uh, we're about to go to breakout here. And uh, so I was just going to try to see if I could BTC Z9. Let me see if I can pull up anything else to assist Lee with his GBTC trade. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Folks, so uh, let's finish off Bitcoin here. We do have the December futures contract for Bitcoin futures, and I can't pull it up on my other system here, but here's some other levels for you to track. Lee, there is a daily profile, bullish structure daily profile out here. The bottom of it is 8083. Um, today is not a bullish reversal candle. 
at least at this stage of the game, uh, from a daily standpoint. But to go ahead, you're in the trade. Uh, just don't let Bitcoin itself, Bitcoin futures, uh, close below 8083. It's a bullish structured box out here. Uh, if you can get a move above 8366, that might get you to 9215 uh, out there. So, um, so best of luck with that trade. Thanks for writing in. I hope that this information uh, helps you. Uh, we've got Earl writes in, and Earl writes in and says, Hey, Steve, took my gain on. TNA today, so long S and P and TQQ. Is it okay to take gains and not um, and not put new positions on? Of course, it's okay for you to do anything out there. But I think you're looking for maybe some additional guidance out here. And so let's go to the additional guidance step. So. So you're 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 out of TNA. So and you took the profits there. So uh, con congrats there. Let's let's uh, let's not spend our time there. You're asking about the S and P and the Qs out here. So first, let's do this for you because let me give you let me give you some info that that maybe you don't have access to. And when I say that, I'm referring to the uh, market breadth of those both of those instruments out here. And so when we take a look at that, uh, and I'm looking right now, I've got the Nasdaq 100 up on our screen. I want you to just focus on the dials in the upper right hand corner, and uh, what those dials representing. They're each in the green colored level, uh, which means that there are more constituents inside the NDX 100 trading above the profile versus below the profile. So. The, the first place you would at least see a crossover on some type of bearish condition, so to speak, would be on the 60-minute time frame. So as we pull this up, what you can see out here, just on the 60-minute time frame, you had a bullish crossover on October 10th. So nearly a week ago, a week ago out here, you still have those same conditions, 53 constituents above the top, 26 below the bottom. And all that means is the market breadth is so strong, even on a short-term basis, forget about the 240, the daily, and the weekly, that the market breadth is strong enough to say, and even though on a 60-minute ES, um, well, this is the NQ. Let me give you the 60-minute NQ out here. So even on the 60-minute NQ, where we do have valid topping signals. So I'm not trying to convince you to do one thing or the other. What I want to do is provide you with information information you're an excellent trader we can we can we can see that here but provide you with the information so that you can make a decision because the signals that we have are um, are, are are confusing confusing at best what do I mean well take a look at one of the one of the patterns you and I you identify help to use identify tops and bottoms uh, price movement higher doing less relative energy that's what we have out here uh, we don't really have the we don't, when I say we don't really have, we don't have a bearish reversal candle, even though we did have price move lower out here. Now, where was price moving into? That's always the question. In the NQ, I don't really have a good level of support where it was moving into, at least on a 60-minute time frame. But, but the reason why price ended up stopping where it did, or at least this is my thinking as to why, um, and the justification as to why, is because of still strong market breadth out there. So no real key levels of support have uh, cracked inside of the uh, NQ out there. And if we look at the NQ and we look at the daily time frame out here, small body doji candle, today likely to be day five of a TD setup nine count pattern. We don't know that for sure, but all price has to do today is close above the uh, close of bar number one, which right now that looks like that should be accomplished. 78.59 is the level out there. Maybe this is going on to make a TD setup nine count top. That's the last time that it formed a high out here inside the NQ was a TD setup nine count top back in September. So maybe the same pattern is unfolding out here. You've also got an A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, it looks like this if we draw that pattern out here. And what we're going to see is we're today hit the 1 to 1.272 level and is backed off. Okay, no big deal. Maybe price is on its way to 8109. That would be the uh, 1 to 1.618 area. Um, if we look at, uh, let's see here, if we come here, I'll just slide this over because we'll go take a look at the S&P. If Phil's got the question or you've probably got the question too, uh, certainly I know that uh, Jay is interested. Are there any new profiles uh, out there? And the answer is no. We take a look at the uh, four quadrants of the ES Mini with regard to the your TNA trade or the Russell 2000. Looks like it wants to make a run for 1548 or 1541. It was up a point or two higher than where it is right now. So I'm not going to convince you to jump back in, but that's your resistance. 
resistance point out here. The NQ is above resistance. We didn't see a topping pattern inside the daily chart out here. And so the NQ appears to be running and gunning for 8071. So my suggestion to you is the what the market's communicating to you and I at uh, 1.35 in the afternoon is to remain in that position. Now, what are you going to do if overnight the NQ targets hits 80.71 and sells off? That's the problem with the ETFs that you've got. Not that it's a problem, just that you can't, you know, trade well depending on what depending on who you trade through you may be able to actually trade the uh, q the q's but i don't know about tqqq as one of those but this that's neither here nor there right here is the mere fact that all the signals for the nasdaq 100 the nq out here says that it wants higher price now, if you look at the ES Mini, we'll just kind of glide over to it. Price is above the top of its daily profile, 29.95. And so, Phil, if that's the case, what it is likely targeting, if there's a close above that today, it's likely targeting 30.32. Now, if we take a look at the daily chart for the ES Mini, you're going to see really the same thing that we looked at in the Q and the NQ. Today is likely to be bar number five of a TD setup nine count. Uh, it has not hit the one to 1.2728 a B equal CD. That's 3014. But that's likely where price is headed to. Maybe even 30, 50, 83 out there. So um, and and look, I can show you. And here's where the dynamics and the difficulty and really being able to I like to be able to have conviction uh, when I provide you with information out there. I, if, I, if there's any one um, outcome that I have when I do this show for you and provide each of you with information, it is to have conviction behind what it is that I say, not willy nilly, and then be able to go back to the charts to explain what that conviction is. The problem I have with doing that right now for Phil's question is this is that uh, when I take a look at my market analyzer tool, and this is my short-term time frame market analyzer tool, you can see that the first four instruments out here are the equity futures contracts. And when you take a look at one hour, two hour, and five hour, you're going to see top confirmed patterns out there, or top signal patterns out here. And all this is the sign of a potential top. But yet when I take a look at market breadth, which I know will be a lagging indicator, when I take a look at daily profiles, not necessarily a lagging indicator out here, we have conflicting messages. When you have conflicting messages, taking your profits is never a bad thing out there. Um, but even though these short-term signals, price hasn't really done much in any kind of a sell-off. Well, I guess lastly out here uh, would be to watch the Dow equity futures contract. It has not been able to clear resistance, resistance being 20 27042 but if it does if it did then its price target is 27375 now look we're about to go to break out here but let's look at the market breadth for the S&P 500 and what you're going to see out here is each of these are also bullish these 60 minute 240 daily and weekly it says be very cautious in shorting this market right now we'll be right back If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Looks like Buford Pusser was successful in uh, Turkey. You know, uh, the guy with the uh, big stick out there as uh, Turkey agrees to a ceasefire in uh, Syria. Buford Pusser. You got to love that. Hey, HD wants to go take a look at uh, RIG. Rigatoni Transocean Limited, RIG, is the uh, ticker symbol. Wondering about support and resistance on these. So um, the last three days, uh, HD, we saw a uh, rig hit resistance. That was the top of its daily profile. So 480 is a real key level for it to clear in order to continue to uh, move higher out there. Price of below support from a monthly standpoint, meaning below the bottom of its profile. And on a weekly basis, uh, the profile bullish in structure runs from 404 up to 515. So we would say a close above 480 should bring about the 515 level out there. So the question is, Question I have, did rig form some type of bottom that you and I like to look at? Well, it just so happens that it did. If you take a look at the low out here, October 3rd, bar number, the bar following bar number nine of a TD setup nine count, that made the low, there was your signal. And prices made it up to resistance. In essence, whenever you get a bottom or a topping signal, the very first thing to do is to look for support or resistance on the way up, on the way down, because that becomes your target. And so the, uh, the first target has been fulfilled inside of RIG based upon that daily bottoming signal out there. So you're wondering about support and resistance. So uh, we'll leave it there. You also wanted to take a look at, I believe, BKCC. Let's go see what BKCC is. That is uh, BlackRock Capital Investment, BKCC. In this case here, below everything, daily, weekly, and monthly um, uh, bottoms of their boxes. So there is no support from a TAS market profile standpoint. So let's pull over Stevie's other charts out here, see what we've got. Um, we see no bottoming signal or pattern out here on the way to the uh, downside. Uh, so let's, take, let's get off of the daily and go over to the weekly, see what we have on a weekly time frame chart. Intermediate term time frame, this is going to be, it should be a week or bar nine of a weekly TD setup nine Count. The last nine count didn't do anything. It was a sideways move. You, you, when, when these counts occur, you'll either see a sideways move, a little bit of a hiccup, which is basically one or two bars, then resume. It's moving that continued direction or an actual turn out here. Uh, so far, it looks like bar seven is the low. That's at 475. Uh, the low today, 476. So today or tomorrow, you would need to see price uh, move below 475 in order for the count to offer you a potential bottom signal out here. But I'd be careful 
That's what the weekly chart shows. So if the weekly chart shows a bottom signal, usually you'd see something on a daily time frame. That was the reason why I said be careful out here. But the uh, weekly says, yeah, it's trying to form a bottom. The monthly says it's it's an opportune time to form a bottom as price moves lower, does with less relative energy. So well stretched to the downside out here. Uh, wave count wise, it's in uh, wave number six or letter F to the uh, downside. But you need to see a bullish reversal signal before you'd even consider this confirming a roads momentum indicator bottom out here. So with regard to BlackRock Capital, um, at this stage, we don't see a bottom pattern. Now, the daily, maybe it could. Let me see here. Let me see if I pull this up here. Look under the covers real quickly. Pull this up. Yeah, so, so the daily, if the daily can make a lower low, get below the uh, low of October 4th, you would see a roads momentum indicator signal get triggered. And so keep watching BKCC. Keep watching for price to push lower, push even lower, and uh, and then start to look for a bullish reversal candle because of the daily and the weekly chart, as well as the monthly that we looked at. But no go as we speak right now, BlackRock Capital Investment, unless you know something that others don't. I just don't see it in the chart out there. So HD, thanks for writing in. Uh, always good to hear from you. I hope that that uh, helps you out. And of course, folks, I want to hear from you as well, although it's getting late in the show to get those emails and be able to go take a look at your requests. But let's go take a surf around, see what else it is that we can figure out inside these markets. Uh, what's going on inside the New York Stock Exchange? Advanced decline oscillator is um, at about 60.60 uh, 60 and change out there, maybe gunning for plus 150, uh, where you could see then the next top inside the New York Stock Exchange. I don't have any topping signals. We've got a higher high in the advanced client oscillator reading and a higher high in price. So there's no divergence pattern, which is typically present when the New York Stock Exchange makes uh, its market top out there. We don't have that pattern in play. If I take a look at the New York Stock Exchange itself, let me switch over to the daily indexes out here. And the New York Stock Exchange is in bar number five, wave number four. Um, Wave number four, Basil likes to say at uh, wave number four, something else can happen. The last time we saw wave number four on the way up, the something else was just a sideways move. And uh, so I can't tell you whether that's going to occur this time or not. But I don't see any topping signal as we speak speak of right now inside the New York Stock Exchange out here. I would more so be focused on the advanced decline oscillator um, reading and, uh, and price and what it's doing and looking for those divergent patterns. Uh, or the plus 150 level to be looking for uh, some type of potential top. Um, gold. Eh, yeah, well, we can go look at gold. You know what? Now, I'm just trying to see what, what else is it that I can look at here. I'm just kind of scanning my screens, uh, scanning my screens to see if there's something that's really pertinent, uh, helpful to you in identifying what the market is. So let's just take a look at the XLK. I don't know if there's anything really helpful here or not. At this stage, it did pull back um, today. You know, it potentially could be in wave number seven. That was from a couple of days ago. I don't really like to, cons it, it, it is, for the way that I do the counting, valid. But because there was wave number five to the downside, it's more likely only wave three to the upside inside the XLK. You know, maybe today price was testing support or close to support at 81.16. Didn't get totally down there, but nothing broken down in the number one dog inside of the uh, uh, inside of the S&P 500, the XLV sector, what is it doing? You know, today is a close above resistance. Uh, resistance being 9191, where it last broke down. The last level of resistance here is 9252. Now, this made a nice Rhodes momentum indicator bottom out here. Uh, if price can clear 9252, it doesn't have to be today. If it can close above 9252, this thing is headed higher. Today is going to be day number five of a TD setup nine count. Might as well look at the XLF out here. So you've got the top three sectors making up a substantial uh, percentage portion of the S&P 500. Uh, in this case, uh, when price pulled back inside the XLF, it was right back to its breakout support at 2641. That was back here in October, October the 3rd, probably, October 3rd. Yes, that's what it was. Um, nothing bearish about, in fact, if anything, the XLF is bullish because the 
green line turned red and then back to green on October 14th and price was testing the oscillator on change line out there. So all that the XLF needs to do is clear 28.29. That's the top of its uh, current daily profile to uh, continue to motor on to higher price. Maybe what it does is it sets up I, uh, oh, that's interesting. Uh, maybe what it does is it sets up a TD setup nine count top. So right now we've got the uh, Dow up 43, S&P 11, and the NASDAQ 100 up 25. Be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. There he is, Buford Pusher. Buford Pusher from Walking Tall. Real guy, right? Real, real, uh, you know, he was a one-man wrecking crew uh, in uh, Tennessee back in the uh, 70s out there, uh, fighting uh, corruption and all that kind of stuff out there. Uh, moonshining, I believe it was. Just, uh, you know, the whole nine yards, so to speak. Okay, so what are we going to do here? You know, look, here, here's the deal. The, here is the deal. The, the tug of war, the fight between bulls and bears, definitely on. Now, we say definitely on because as we took a look at earlier, when you take a look at those short-term time frame signals here, one hour, two hour, five hour, they're all showing topping patterns or signals that are out there. So, for example, let's just go look at the. We got signals in the five hour, just to kind of take a as we as we close the show. What what does that mean out here? If we look at the five hour time frame chart for the ES mini, here's what we know: price is moving higher, doing it with less relative energy out there at this stage. Here, we don't have a bearish reversal signal or close below Stevie's green line, which is 29. 97. 
fire number six is unfolding that will complete at uh, 2 p.m., I believe. Uh, so, uh, you know, price is getting stretched out here. But uh, the stretching can go away with some type of uh, strong momentum to the upside. So it's just a potential pattern out there when you look at the ES Mini. If you look at the two-hour time frame chart here in the ES Mini, it's got the confirmed signal. It's got the, we've seen several confirmed signals out here, but price hasn't been able to bust through support and real support out here on a two-hour time frame would be 29.66 out there. So, um, again, it's just a tug of war between bulls and bears out there. That then says, okay, what are the daily messages out here? And no matter how we skin this cat, not that we want to skin a cat. The message right now from the ES Mini, it's bullish. The NQ, it's bullish. The Russell's actually bullish, but maybe resistance at 1548. And the Dow is the only one in check right now. 27042, that's the key number to be watching. Because if you see a close above that, you've got bullish messages across the board on the daily time frame, which will which will roll over the short term time frames eventually. So folks, stay tuned. Thanks so much for being here. Two more great hours up. Uh, Polar Bear from three to four, uh, two to three, and and uh, Obi Wan Kenobi from three to four. I'll be back with you tomorrow. Thank you.